And I would love to hear if the trees on this planet have a message for our audience today. Yes, of course. <clears throat> We come in with ease and we come in with breeze. And did you notice how you spent those seconds of time, of space, of silence? For this is where, this is, this is the um, way we inhabit the planet, is in that exact space of, of breeze, of air, of silence, of care, of grounding, of centering. We have so much to offer to all those who are in need of peace. All that is necessary is first recognition. Can you notice those of us, we will call ourselves friends of root that line your path. Can you appreciate the colors, the textures, the absence or presence of leaves, the, um, the feel of our of our bodies, our, our trunks, our stems. Can you bring that into your awareness just enough to notice it, to acknowledge? And then if you would, if you don't mind sharing a breath or two with us, this is the most beautiful exchange. As you already know, as you have learned quite well in your biology and earth science courses from your younger years, this exchange of gases is where we are in perfect compatibility with one another. For we take in what you do not need and you take in what we do not need and we cleanse and clear what it is that you uh, that is required for, <clears throat> for clean air, for healthy lungs, for healthy body, for life. And so we are asking for those of you who have um, an inclination towards affinity um, towards us to expand on that. Take yourselves a bit deeper into the realm and reign of us. Go into the forests, we invite you. Go, go closer and nearer to the, um, to the friends of root. Place your very heart against uh, the, the trunk of another. Fling your arms wide in a hug. Give not a care as to who might see you or judge you, or better yet, care greatly and pray that others will walking by will see the, the beauty and the joy that you are sharing with your beloved friend of root and will feel inspired to do the very same for another because we are capable and able and constantly feeling the transmission of energy from the humans who are definitely in a state of difficulty, of upheaval, of disconnection, of disassociation, of separation. We can feel this, and yet we also know that we are the remedy to this. We have the, the magic that is necessary. We have the energy that is required to bring each and everyone, no matter of their connection to er earthly energy or to that which grows from this beautiful planet, no matter what, we have the ability to <clears throat> drain what is not in service and replenish with what does support with what lifts the heart, with what lightens the spirit. So we ask you quite simply, do you, do you notice us? Can you give us a bit of your attention, a tiny burst of your time and take it further to touch and to um, loving expression, to appreciation? And for those of you who are artistically inclined, how about a picture? We are so happy to pose or a painting. We are very happy to remain as still as possible so that we may be good subjects or perhaps um, a, a, a molding. What is that? Uh, a, um, carving. Uh, I don't know, some clay work of sorts. That too, we are happy to be still for. We are here, we are blanketing the planet, and we are actually um, in, in a 
desperate sort of situation uh, as 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 relates to human behaviors. So pay attention to that as well, and give uh, give give kindness and care, love and affirmation our way. We promise we will return it tenfold. Hmm. That was beautiful. Uh, I've always felt connected to trees and I've hugged a few trees in my life and I feel that they have a lot of wisdom. So I, I'm glad that they got to say something and uh, it's sad to hear that they feel overseen uh, mm -hmm. and it just is connected with everything I believe that we all need to be seen no matter what consciousness it is. Absolutely, absolutely. Trees are magical. Um, and, you know, they, during the part they were talking about their challenge, you know, we're, we're clear cutting land at just mm. horrific rates. I mean, if, if you're awake at all to the ecological issues of our planet, um, connecting to those that are here can bring healing to those that are truly being disconnected or annihilated from this planet. We can reverse this. We still can. And it begins with our relationship to the natural world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like to ask if my higher self has a message to my audience today. Mm, cool. Well, I am a feisty and fiery and activated spirit, as all who have heard me and who know me can easily see. So what I would like to do is to share that light, bright and sparkly, um, effervescent and bubbly, joyful and um, abundant as it is. And I would like to encourage all who are all who are listening, all who are here, all who are taking breath to make this moment, this very moment, one of the best they can make it, whether that is by extending themselves uh, ex extending themselves through words of love to another or to oneself, whether that is um, sh sharing a, a beautiful meal and appreciating every morsel and bite, for I am a big fan of the most beautiful of food, whether that is wearing brightly colored and flowy and beautiful garments, such as what I am donning in this moment on my physical body, whether that is taking the care to notice this the skin that covers the entire be beauty of the human body and the health and well-being and ability to be a gift of being alive, whatever it is in this particular moment, take a moment. I, I pray, I ask, I encourage and make it beautiful, make it powerful, make it meaningful, make it special. Wow. I am so amazed. That was my higher self message to you guys. And what I, I noticed, uh, Stephanie, was that my higher self is not excusing herself. Uh, she's not, you know, belittling, what, what, um, making herself smaller in any way. Like she's, she's full of confidence and full of self love. And that really inspired me. That really inspired me because. At the higher self is the truth of who we are, right? It's, it's who we are in our core, in our essence. And to have that like sort of shown to me through you right now was really inspiring. So I want to thank you in so many ways for this channeling that you have provided today. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to have me share this with you. To watch the full video, click the link below, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel.